What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be finishing the floor up in the shop. First things first though, we need to clean everything up, find spots for it, get it 100% clear. Also, before that, I'm gonna finish the two wheels on the engine stand so I can fold it and put it in a spot. But once everything is off the floor, we'll do a whole last recoat. I have one gallon of the stuff left, so I wanna use it up. And uh, after that, the uh the floor will be ready the hellcat should be here like thursday so yeah that's gonna be awesome to actually see a car in here i think you guys are gonna be pumped i'm gonna be pumped and uh let's get to work on this because i have a lot of work to do kind of in a short period of time we've been already working on the hellcat all day so uh we'll get this done and uh hopefully we can get it done quick so it's finally finished Pretty much everything is now picked up off the floor. I'm going to sweep all the just dust and random stuff. There are a few little, I think there's like a few little oil stains that uh, from just pieces of parts just leaking on the floor. So I'm gonna wipe them up with some brake cleaner. And then after I'm done with that and I put everything in a dustpan, I'm gonna start the whole reco process. So. This should go pretty quick since it is just a layover and uh, I'll see how far a gallon gets me because you can see uh, how nice and white this is. I mean, it's obviously going to get dirty from driving cars in here and it's white, but uh, you can see how different is it is. Plus I just wanna add an extra coat. So let's sweep all this up, get it ready for the next coat. And then uh, in probably, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes, I'll be able to coat it, mix that stuff over there and uh, call it a night. This is gonna be a really extremely short video because I was working on the Hellcat all day, but uh, at least you guys will get to see that the, uh, the shop is pretty much ready to go. I was gonna do the wheels on the uh, engine hoist. I decided not to. I'm getting kind of tired, so I just wanna get this kind of busted out. So it's ready for the Hellcat and other projects to be parked in here and uh, yeah, it is definitely looking nice. It looks, I don't know, it's pretty small, but it looks a, a lot smaller on, on camera just because, you know, I'm standing like halfway in here. And uh, I did put the SR20 in underneath the, the racks. And that's why I made that one so tall. You can see that the SR is sitting under there. And then I just have stuff over here. Probably gonna keep the air compressor over there and actually both air compressors over there. And uh, I put that Conoco, the spare Conoco sign over there. The shell sign though, I didn't think it was gonna be so heavy until I uh, lifted it off that, that paint stand. And I was like, man, I made this sign like extremely heavy. So that, Con that shell sign weighs more than Conoco sign. So I'll have to figure out a way to mount that thing because it is heavier. Just finished sweeping the floor. Now I'm gonna coat it with the next coat of epoxy. The floor is now 100% coated and it looks extremely good. So the floor, I mean, people didn't like the videos. Uh, some people didn't like the videos, but I'm really excited on how the floor came out. It's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to have a nice clean shop. I realize white will get dirty, but it will look good. It does brighten this whole shop up a lot. Once I put new LED lights in here, it'll brighten it up even that much more. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Like I said, it's gonna be a really short video. If you like these videos, click the subscribe button, throw a comment below, give the video a thumbs up, and as always, see you guys tomorrow.